Good evening. Welcome to the Irish Weather Network. I'm Carl. I just want to start off by showing you this chart now that covers the entire North Atlantic Basin. Uh, you can see the cold obviously indicated by the blues. The deep cold is purple uh, of a calendar. Siberian obviously of a Greenland here near to the North Pole. Uh, the winds have been sourced from Siberia in the last few days. Now they make their way right across Europe down northern parts of Europe up to the UK, Ireland, Iceland, Greenland and over to Canada. Now not that, that Canada needs any of their coal there, they have a, a massive coal pool themselves. But it just goes to show you the with the right kind of setup, the coal can actually retrogress right across the Atlantic against the normally westerly winds that we, we sometimes get, well, more often than not this time of year. I also want to point out something of uh, interest, uh, particular in England and Scotland. Uh, they bore the brunt of snow showers in the last uh, several days. Some of the showers were just incessant in nature and they gave appreciable snow depths in parts of Scotland and right along the east coast of the UK. Now, if you heard me speaking about the 850 millibar level temperatures is a good indication of what the temperature could be at sea level. So you have like, there's the minus 10 isotherm over Dublin. It's over much of Ireland, in fact, and you have minus 11, say, over Scotland. Now, so you're, you're looking at surface temperatures of zero degrees Celsius because it, it, if you go in altitude, up in altitude by... 150 meters it drops by one degree celsius so the 850 millibar level is 1500 meters so it's a it's a 10 degree difference but when you take into account scotland where all its snow and down the eastern side of england as well where any of the snow lies it's it's over snow fields well these minus 11s here are redundant they don't come into play at all because over the snow fields, it creates its own microclimate and it chills the air above it both day and night. And the high pressure here that's close to Scotland, more, it's closer to Scotland than it is to Ireland, the winds are going to fall off calm. So now you have radiating cooling. So over these snow fields, they're looking at minus 20 degrees Celsius. An air temperature of minus 20 tonight in, in Scotland, minus 15 in the northeast of England, and double digits again, minus 10, minus 11, minus 12 in other parts of over the snow fields in, in England. So they haven't experienced these temperatures since that record breaking month of December 2010. Fortunately, we missed out on this because we had very little snow that settled here. In fact, very little snow, if at all, fell in Ireland. Now, we didn't experience these showers uh, that, say, the eastern half of the UK got because, well, number one, their sea track is huge, say, from Denmark, Norway, all the way to the eastern side of, of Scotland, right down the eastern side of England to East Anglia. That's a massive sea track there. So this is a conducive for um, large showers, clouds to form and band themselves into trains, shower trains or shower streamers which can move on land, and if you caught one on one of these, uh, it could rain continuously heavy for hours. Uh, again, some places will miss out, but others will get a good bit of snow. But it seems like nowhere in the east coast of England missed out with any snow. Uh, air sea track from Blackpool, Liverpool, to the air east coast here, especially from Dublin to Loud, doesn't look like anything compared to the sea track over the North Sea. And if you come down below Dublin as well to Cardigan Bay as well, it's even shorter. But it doesn't have to be a long sea track at all to warrant, you know, showers to be conducive to form over uh, sea surface temperatures at this time of year if you have a cold pill. And just unfortunately, the atmosphere over the Irish Sea wasn't playing ball for showers to form into deep convective showers and push inland and give us the heavy snow that, that say the UK got there during the week. Now the air did destabilize a bit last night. It broke the cap and convection which 
See, the cloud tops were only getting to about 2,000 metres, 2,500 metres as well. The cloud tops went up to about 3,500, 4,000, so it was deeper convection. So it allowed uh, for um, some heavier showers to approach the east coast and give a slight dusting to one or two locations. Again, it, it's nothing than what the UK got. But now if I move on to an interesting setup now taking place over the next um, day or two, we have this frontal snow that's going to affect us um, through Thursday. Commencing Thursday morning around 6-7, it's going to come on shore here in Munster. It's going to move slowly up across the island as we go through the day. This is actually upgraded from earlier runs. Merlier runs is not only got this far and it petered out and fragmented. It seems to be getting it's sorry, I beg your pardon, it seems to be a little bit more intense now. What's been shown on this run. And it's getting a bit further north earlier in the day. Now it does kind of stall a bit. And then it kind of peters out from the north. Uh it affects much of Lancer overnight tomorrow night towards the into Friday morning and then it kind of dissipates then as you go through Friday so it looks like the southern part of Ireland will probably experience the heaviest of snow I'd say around the south midlands definitely over the highest mountains so you're talking about the high, higher reaches down here in the reeks along Comers, the Blackstairs Mountains and, and Wicklow Mountains but later on in the day in Wicklow they could have up to being 15 and 20 centimetres of snow and with a strong and gale force, well, at times gale force, um, southeast wind. This snow could actually be blizzard-like conditions over hills and mountains and it could actually even drift as well on lower ground. So it, it is one to be concerned about if, if you need to travel, but it's, it's advisable if you don't. I know we have restrictions in place at the moment but i know people still have to go to work but just be on the safe side of precaution because it is going to be treacherous out there during towards the morning and towards the afternoon and then this is the state of play it's about about mid afternoon now i didn't like the way the, the models are chopping and chains and each model run that i look at over the last few days it's it, it hasn't nailed down a certain um scenario how quick this is going to move through or how uh, is it just going to stall over the country and fragment or is it going to give enough snow well this one is telling me that it's going to give a lot of snow now you could have probably minimum five centimeters on the ground up to 10 centimeters in places and possibly up to 20 centimeters of a higher roots um over the mountains and uh so it is is it's more significant than in the last few runs it could all change the next run, but we're very close to this event. Accord now, it's I say it's kind of nailing this down. It's going to be um, significant enough. Now, over the eastern part of Lancer, coming into into towards ninety wee hours of Friday morning, we're looking at the only gall all the way right down to the southeast coast. And if you can see, parts of the Midlands are still experienced now. So this could last in the Midlands. Now, it might lighten up, but it could last for several, several hours. I'm talking about 8 to 12 hours. Uh, it could be only light snow up there in Donegal, and it could be only light snow as far as you come down to, to Wicklow and Wexford. I look at these intensities during Thursday itself because we, we still have enough time before the front actually hits these areas. But then it breaks up, and it moves off. Now I want to draw your attention to Friday because Friday seems to be a bit more of an upgrade. We have this uh, front, a bit more active in nature, going to approach the island as well. Now the difference with temperatures over the island, the western half of the island, I'd say from the Midlands right up to say Sligo where this, this quadrant here, down to Munster and the Connacht coastline, is on the influence of the mild Atlantic air now. So this will be just a rain event here and the, the snow will probably be starting to thaw as well in the Midlands. The cold air is still in place across the east. Now the upper air temperatures are actually starting to, to, to rise but the wedge of cold air underneath is still there hugging the ground because the cold air is, is denser and heavier. So if this rain band comes in 
and we have the, the a long land track now of cold air coming up as well through Ireland to Northern Ireland. I reckon that Ulster could see a lot of snow out of this on Friday night into Saturday morning. Now, northern parts of um, Leinster as well, definitely the higher ground over Wicklow, maybe parts of the east coast. Could be just a rain, snow, wet snow event here inland a bit. It might be more snow. Uh, so it, it, this is another one to watch because this is upgraded as well. So it could be a good period of heavy snow over Northern Ireland as well as we go through Friday morning into, into Saturday afternoon. Uh, and then after that, the Atlantic takes over and pushes all the cold air back over towards Europe. So we, this could be the end of the, the cold spell of weather for now. There is hints of it coming back sometime next week again because this block here and the cold air pooling over Europe, it's not going to be pushed all the way back towards the Urals in um, in Russia. This is going to be still here, so it won't take much for this to be tapped into if a low pressure dives to the south of Ireland, high pressure starts to build back in. Models don't show this yet, but it's a possibility. Uh, it's one to watch over the, the following um, week and see if this develops again. So, if you have to go out and about tomorrow, uh, just bear in mind, take care on the roads. Um, people do have to go and travel to walk still, so give yourself enough time. It's strong winds as well. It could be blown snow, so be, be careful. Again, watch tomorrow night, or sometimes a bigger part of June. Tomorrow, I'll look at the how the snow is going to... F- um, if the intensities are still there for the northern part of Leinster, eastern part of Leinster, because it won't hit it there until later on towards the evening. And then we'll have to look at that event on Friday when um, that active rain belt is going to come in off the Atlantic and hit the cold wedge of cold air that's over the eastern half of Leinster and over uh, Ulster, which could give it a, a significant amount of snow. But, but that's another day. Um, we'll talk about that on, say, sometime this time tomorrow evening and then through Friday as well. So so if you like this um, video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and help me make more content like this. And no matter where you are, keep safe. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.